Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here. Time to check out the latest flagship from Vivo, the X80 Pro. Thanks to them for sending that over. Now this has the latest Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 processor inside, including a quad camera system plus a 1440p AMOLED display. So excited to see what Vivo has to offer in their latest flagship and that camera system is co-engineered with Zeiss as well. So anyways, we're going to unbox the X80 Pro, see what comes inside, including that fast charger, then of course get some hands-on with the phone itself. Let's get started. Here is the Vivo X80 Pro co-engineered with Zeiss with the camera on this device. Opening it up, there is that camera we're talking about. We are going to set our X80 Pro to the side for just a second, continuing through, see what else we get. Inside this first box, looks like we have our charging cable. Let's pop this out. USB type A to USB type C for charging. And next to that was, surprisingly enough, and I'm happy to see it, just a pair of headphones. And looking inside, they are USB type C headphones. A quick look, they do have gel tips and come with extra sizes. And on the other end of that box is our charging brick fairly large here you'll see vivo flash charge this is an 80 watt charger and they say you can charge 100 percent in 38 minutes so very fast charging usb type a up towards the top and just another quick look at it inside the other box pleasantly surprised again because there is an extra that is kind of hard to get out there we go we have a sim ejection tool pretty standard booklet and looks like just kind of more of a, I wouldn't say a bumper case, but just kind of slim down. You'll see the sides are cut out, but it will cover the corners of the phone. Has a cutout for that back camera system. Also has kind of a nice uh, softer touch feel to the back of the case. So again, extras, case, and our headphones. And I guess at this point, uh, charging brick as well. On to what you came to see, the X80 Pro. This is the 12 gigabyte, 256 gig storage model. Taking it out of the plastic reveals uh, a really neat black color. This is cosmic black. It has a little bit of a, just a shine to it when the light hits it a certain way. Also kind of feels a little bit softer to the touch. Uh, now we're going to boot up the phone and while it boots up, we're gonna take a closer look at this hardware. So on the bottom, a SIM card slot, microphone, USB type C port, and one of the speakers moving along the right side. I did notice a little bit narrow because of the curved display. You have your power button and volume rockers right above that. Very minimal camera bump overall. You'll see it does cover the whole top of the back, which makes the bump just fairly minimal. And then up towards the top looks like a microphone and an IR blaster. Also a little, little bit of text if you read that professional photography. So hopefully we can take some professional shots with this phone. Along the left side, absolutely nothing. And a closer look at the back, it does say Vivo. And there is that camera system, actually a quad camera system. You'll see the three lenses in the circle, but in the bottom left, Another one with some Zeiss uh, branding towards the back as they did work with them on this. So the main sensor is a 50 megapixel sensor. You have an eight megapixel periscope telephoto lens, which I believe is this lens in the bottom left. You also have a 12 megapixel telephoto lens. You have a 48 megapixel ultra wide angle lens. So two telephoto lens, What that periscope lens at five times optical, and then another one at two times optical. So you got multiple zoom lenses on the back of this. And then on top of that, ultra wide and standard wide angle lens. So I'm excited to actually see how this works. This is uh, honestly, like I said, ultra wide zoom lens, wide angle lens is the perfect combo for a flagship. And this one actually has two telephoto lenses. Flipping it over was already on the home screen. So it looks like Vivo went through the startup process before they sent it on over, which is fine. Uh, a closer look at this very good looking display. It is AMOLED LTP 03, so 120 Hertz, HDR 10 plus, 1500 nits. And like I mentioned, it does have those curved sides. This is a 6.78 inch display, but it's also 1440 by 3200 pixels. So a 1440p 
display. Nice to see again, 1440p, 120 hertz. And I can tell already out of the box that 120 hertz is enabled just by how smooth everything looks. Let's jump into settings and display real quick to show that off. And looks like out of the box, just to make note, if you do get this phone, screen resolution out of the box is 1080 instead of 1440. And screen refresh rate is on smart switch. So it will uh, change depending on what type of content is shown on the screen, which will help save power. You can completely save power by switching it to 60 hertz or force it at 120 hertz. Now I'm also gonna bump up that screen resolution to 1440 and you can still force 120 hertz. So nice to see you have that option. And of course, let's go ahead and bump that up to 10 minutes. First things first, some thoughts on it. I do wonder how uh, many fingerprints I'll get right here. It's actually just slight, because the display's so tall, it's a little bit uncomfortable to put my finger here because it's a little bit top heavy, but if I put my finger here, it's completely balanced. So I wonder if that's actually going to start picking up uh, fingerprints on the back right here. If I do that, just something I'm pointing out because I'm noticing it right now. Now, first of all, let's go into that camera app. I want to check it out, especially with those dual zoom lenses. Maybe snap just a couple quick pictures. Make sure the shutter speed's very quick. There we go. Now, let's go ahead and zoom in. So, well, obviously you can zoom out 0.6, use that ultra wide angle lens, but 2x, which is still optical zoom. So there's that 2x optical zoom. Now, 5x periscope lens, which is again also optical zoom. So no digital zoom if you're zoomed in at 2x or 5x. Those are both uh, optical using those lenses. So let's go ahead and just check out the end result of that zooming. Awesome. And swiping over, there's the 2x shot. And there's just a couple of the ultra wide and regular shots. But again, Love to see the quality of a 5X looking as good as that. You've also got a group of different modes, night mode, high resolution to take advantage of that 50 megapixel main sensor. Keep going, portrait, video, come on. Oh, and it does have a pro mode. Always love to see that. Pretty much need that in any sort of flagship device. And going to more, here is a look at all of the various ones, including a long exposure shot, super moon, Probably to zoom in on the moon and get a good shot of that pro sports for fast motion. I also forgot to point out that if you look closely at that front facing camera, there is a pre-installed screen protector. Should have pointed that out earlier. Honestly, I didn't notice it right away. I should have looked a little bit closer, so that's my fault. Anyways, registering a fingerprint. Now it does have an in-display, uh, I believe ultrasonic fingerprint scanner. So let's continue through. Let's you know where to set it on down. Success. Wow, press slightly harder when using fingerprint. Wait, what? That was insanely fast. Add another? Did you guys see that? Wait, fingerprint unlocking area, you, and you can move it? So it must have a larger than usual fingerprint unlocking area. You can change it from small to large. That's really cool. Actually, something I have not seen in a phone before, but let's test that out, right? So let's go ahead and go to the lock screen. I'm gonna set my finger on down. I missed the spot, as you could tell, but it'll show right there. Hang on, and there it is, a little bit circle. What, that's insanely fast. Well done. I'm, I'm really impressed with this in display. Oh, I missed the spot again. I get, it usually takes a little bit to get used to. Um, I believe with the screen off, it will work. It does, I didn't actually see anything. And if you put it on, you just gotta put it on the right spot. And if you find that spot, it will unlock just about instantly. Going through, let's jump back into settings. Wanted to point out just a couple different uh, options that you have, including lock screen. There isn't always on display. You can change the UI color, wallpaper. There's theming options uh, with Vivo skin on top of Android. Personalized animation effects, kind of cool. There's a lot of different one, home screen transition, ambient light, dynamic effects. There's facial recognition if you want to use that over the fingerprint scanner fingerprint icon animation. So you can actually have it be a square animation as opposed to a circle. Just really cool that they offer this type of customization. Just things I really haven't seen on other devices. Continuing down, all the pretty much standard. There's an ultra game mode with game assistance. So uh, it does have that if you do like to do some gaming on your phone. And last but not least, let's 
snap that case on in so you can just take a quick look at it. It's very minimal. Like I said, it, expo it covers the top and bottom, but exposes uh, the sides, but that's fine because the corners are covered. There is that always on display that we turned on. Again, I'm really impressed with this uh, fingerprint scanner. That is very quick, snappy, and also the quickest setup process for an in-display camera or in-display fingerprint that I have ever used on any phone, which is saying something considering I set the in-display fingerprint up on a lot of different phones. So overall, that's everything I want to talk about for now with the X80 Pro from Vivo. Pretty impressive. Looks really good, solid hardware. Um, everything seems to be very snappy and quick. Excited to test this phone out more. Drop a comment, let me know what you think about this flagship from Vivo. Be sure to subscribe, a lot more videos coming soon. And as always, thanks for watching.